Hi guys, Lobster here. First of all, I should wear and racy, which we've now uh, designated as were, but people were asking about LTS, long term support, and Wary and Racy will be around for a while. Wary is a puppy created by Barry Cowler. Um, it's for older hardware, and Racy is the same. It's a puppy, mailed in puppy, um, and it's for hardware. This is uh, Beta Kern. So those both have long terms. And if you're interested in what Barry is doing, the sorts of things that you'll see later on in Racy and Wary, you can try Kurt Quirky, quirky, which is the experimental long-term support, if if such a thing um, exists. But it it will it will be the sort of cutting edge stuff that will be in the long-term support puppy. Okay, let's go on to Wolf Two. Wolf Two, as far as I know, this is the, these are the build um, systems. Uh, or the build system that is used for Wary and Racy and for Slacko. Slacko is our current puppy that we would recommend for most people to start with to get some uh, some insight into to puppy. There's loads of others available. So there's two people that are, are using Wolf 2 or able to use Wolf 2. I've had a go. Um, I got so far with it, but I couldn't get right to the end. Other people will. The process will be... Um, simplified. What is Wolf 2? Wolf 2, based on Wolf 1, or just Wolf, is the build system. It allows you to create a puppy. All right? It's slightly more advanced than the, the remastering process which some people use. It allows you to create a puppy using Debian or using Arch Linux or using, in the case of Slacko, using Slackware, Lucid, uh, I think Lucid originally was based on, on Wolf 1 and as I say Wolf 2 is out and it has some important features. For example the ability is coming to compile on other processors including the ARM processor which we'll, we'll come on to later. So there's two people able to, to use it at the moment but we need uh, more people to, to try it out. The two people are Barry Cowler and uh, Mick or Miko, Miko 1 or O1 Miko who created um, Slacko. So do give have a go with uh, Woof Woof 2 and see if you can get that working. Now, Saluki. Saluki is based on Racy, which is the long-term support compiled puppy that I've mentioned uh, previously, and Saluki really is about usability. Uh, Jemima has created this. She worked on uh, puppy for the EEPC, that's puppy spelt with um, three E's, and Fluppy, which was, uh, what was Fluppy? That was, oh yes, that was was for any, any um, laptop. So she worked on those previously, and she's now working on Saluki, and she's working on the, the usability using uh, an XFCE windowing system. The browser a basic browser is provided which is uh, midori and um, that will allow you to download other browsers of your your choice whether that's um, somebody has just compiled firefox 10 and cmonkey 2.7 i think it is so these are the very latest um, browsers which you can use the the inbuilt browser to to download and use those if if you so wish now saluki is in alpha but it's got a very solid base it's got a very good uh, main developer in jemima who's got a lot of experience with with puppy so it's going to be good it's going to be good so alpha at the moment it should be um, coming up to to beta um, sometime and do do give it a try now do help with its development, whether that's with uh, graphics, working on the, the wiki, or just testing it and, and, and offering feedback. These things are, are, are all useful. And of course, um, compiling compiling programs and making programs available for uh, Jemima to, to use in Saluki. Now, Slacko 5.3.3. This is an upgrade from 5.3. Uh, I think we had 5.3.1, so it's an upgrade to that, and it uses uh, a later kernel. It uses the three the three kernel of Linux. I can't remember the the exact n numbers, 
but it's very good. Slacko is is definitely uh, improving and becoming very much more like uh, Lucid was. Uh, or Lucid is. I mean, people are still using Lucid. So it's becoming very mature. It's very useful. Uh, I'm using it at the moment. And what do I hope to be using? So so give, give Slacko a, a try. Right, let's go on to what I hope to be using soon, which is the Palm. Now, Palm is just a, a code name at the, the moment, uh, and it stands for Puppy on Arm. Now, because the, the Wolf 2 system has the, the ability to compile for the ARM processor, that is one way we can get a puppy uh, distribution running on the ARM processor. Another way is Leader has created a, another, another way of doing this. He's, he's working on a, a completely different way of getting puppy running on an ARM processor. And Sickgut. Sickgut has got his own way using uh, Debian's and he promises that as soon as the as soon as he gets a uh, a Raspberry Pi which is an ARM motherboard if you don't know uh, an ARM motherboard that will sell for uh, oh gosh how much is it $35 initially then there'll be an even cheaper one I think in the UK it's about £27. So this is a motherboard. You can plug in keyboards. You plug it into your TV. We've got an ARM processor which we can develop for. Developers can use it. People can test for it and they can do all kinds of uh, projects for it and with it. So there's there's various ways we're going to have ARM up and running um, with Puppy this year. Now that's that's very useful. We've already got a 64, we've got two 64-bit versions so we're now moving towards um, the ARM processor as well. That's going to be very interesting, very exciting and it's really uh, an opportunity for Puppy to go right back to its basics so that should be quite interesting. And to do with that on the wiki I've created uh, a Puppy School and this is um, for beginners. There's uh, the whole section on how to get started with uh, Puppy. So um, uh, check that out. That's all useful information. But really, I started this as a school for programmers, a hacking school. Uh, hacking in the sense of programming, not in the sense of cracking. There is a, uh, a difference. And you will see that we have uh, a very... Uh, <laughs> We've just started, or I've just started, uh, an art department for uh, Puppy School. But the main two are the, the beginners section, which is just getting started with, with Puppy, and also the programming um, section. And I'll put links to, to those. Okay, that's all from me for now. Bye now.